Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you, Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good wherever you are right now. This is your weekly love reading. Leo, before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Leo, I invite you to check out the website, um, sunshine-tv.com. It will have all of the details about my channel, myself, and my team. And uh, apologies, I'm not offering a private reading right now. And that is me. That's my introduction. Yes, viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And so we start your reading, Leah. This is a weekly love reading, okay? So let's look at the main energy for you, Leo. You've got here the King of Swords in reverse. Um, you're dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. And then you've got the Five of Swords in reverse, okay? This is a good card when this is in reverse because um, I really feel like you have you have identified the error, the issue, the culprit, okay? Um, I really feel like you have identified something wrong. It could be something deceitful. It could be something of an inconsistency coming from your relationship, your connection, you have identified that. You know that. Um, something is quite obvious. Something is, is a thing in the past. But it's only been identified recently. Um, yeah, King of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords. I feel like this is a past energy. Crossing you is a Four of Cups. Um... Four of Cups in reverse, this is reconsidering something. I'm hearing the word, it's not too bad. You know, if your person did something wrong to you or they did a mistake, you had a misunderstanding, you're kind of thinking and looking back that it's it's forgivable. It can be fixed. You can still accept them. You are negotiating for some of you. Um, it's not too bad. No, it's, it's something that you could accept forgive forget negotiate um but you've got a rule you know i really feel like you will only forgive them forget what they did accept them back connect with them again if okay you're willing to compromise and negotiate look at that you know you're willing to take a risk you're willing to take a risk king of wands you're willing to take a risk but you carry with you an energy that, yes, I'm willing to take a risk, but um, they can only, f you know, they can only make it up with me with a specific time frame. If they do this, then I will, I'm willing to take a risk. If they get rid of the third party, then I'm willing to take a risk. So you've got a condition for them. What's your influence? Ace of Cups. You have withdraw. Or you're no longer interested with this person because of what they did or what ha because of what happened to the relationship or connection. You get the nine of swords. You're sure about saying no. You're sure about one thing is that you're forgetting them. You're moving on. But for some reason, um, something came up that is convincing you to take a second look. Yeah, take a second look. I'll just write it down. Take a second look about the situation. It's It seems to be that it's possible that you could forgive them or forget. The lover's card. Um, yes, definitely. You're looking into um, a past person or your ex. You're looking into your ex-lovers. And you're kind of thinking we were like this in the past. At present, you were this. But you're considering to review, recalibrate, redo it with your person. The Page of Swords. For some of you, you will receive a message from your person. Or for some of you, this has already happened. That is why it triggers you. Some sort of communication is going to come up. You know, communication is going to come up. That's why it is... 
it is you know you you you're kind of starting to consider it to let them in let them explain let them yeah let them explain something i think you're quite interested to find out something like what are they up to what what they bring towards you three, three of cups yes definitely you're wanting to have because they message you, they call you, they text you, or there's some sort of communication or some news um, that you hear towards your person, a three of cups. You want to validate that. You're in, your energy is about reconsidering it. Your energy is about, I might forgive you. I might let you in. I might talk to you. You know, it hasn't happened because of the page of swords. Five minutes, 55. You're very considerate. Like something has changed. You know, um, something has changed your mind. Bottom of the card is the Knight of Swords. You know, because I really feel like you were moving away. Knight of Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords. You have, you kind of, um, you've made up your decision. But right now, you're slowing the moving on, the forgetting them. Because you heard the news. You found out something. Or you've realized something. That you might take a risk with your person if only if yeah let's look at the, the hidden energy for you leo oh my god you still love them you still like them and vice versa you're gonna have an intimate talk with your person um two of wands it's not gonna happen overnight but i really feel like it's gonna be impromptu because this is um planning and then next to the Two of Cups, this is an impromptu, unexpected actually, Six of Cups. You know, out of the blue, you're going to talk and then that supposed to be normal conversation. It will get deeper. It will get deeper. It will get to a point of blaming, arguing. Then it would change into something sweet, into something romantic. I think you'll fall you know you'll fall for your person and then eventually you'll talk about feelings and they will admit to you that you know whatever they did it's all about feelings mm. yeah unexpected unexpected pouring out of feelings towards towards you and them and how six of cups in reverse how they feel stuck and has not moved on to be honest with you, what I'm channeling from your person is that they feel like it's not quite right to give up or to forget you. It's not quite right to do that. For them, you know, it's you and them are quite special and that instead of bickering or fighting, you know, you need to give it like, they're gonna, they're kind of asking you, Leo, that you're giving me a chance. You know, you the love we have or the feelings we have is strong. So you have to give me a chance. You have to give it to me. Predictive outcome and advice, 10 of cups. You will tell your person what makes you unhappy. Okay? This is your time to, to tell your person that we can't just reconnect or get back together without you knowing why I am not happy. Why I said this, I did this. Why I break up or... Why am I acting this way? You're making me unhappy and you're going to tell it. You're also not going to deny that this Ten of Cups, you also make them happy. You're also not going to deny. You're, you're going to second emotion to your person that you make me happy, but you also make me unhappy. So if you want me back, you need to fix the unhappy side of the story. I'll just write something up, Leo. Last card. Four of Swords. They will surrender. They will tell you the Three of Swords, the betrayal, the pain, and the hurt. They will listen to you. And they will weigh things if they can deliver what you request. Don't settle for less, Leo. I really feel like your person is really, really Four of Swords. They, will, they might step back. 
and rethink. But one thing is for sure, your person, although they look quiet, they look like they're sleeping, but your person is thinking. Your person is holding the Ace of Swords. So whatever you want, whatever you command, they can, they can do that. They can deliver that. They just need some time to clean up the mess or to give you time to think for some of you guys. But after this, you know, this, um, this outpouring of emotions, after this series of conversation you've got, they will think. They will really think and weigh things after you said on why are you unhappy. They will think about that. It looks like it's going to get serious in the next in the next couple of days, weeks and months, okay? You really hit them big time. You made them realize something. So keep keep it keep your cool, keep the keep your cool Leo, keep it diplomatic. Keep your communication direct, uh diplomatic and also it's it's all right to be vulnerable. It's all right to express your feelings and be truthful to your feelings because that makes you human, you know? So there's there's a series of talk in a couple of weeks and months. But if you pass this, you know, this stage or phase of you and this person, it's going to get serious, okay? They're waking up. They're waking up. They're, they're, they're going, you know, they're examining their immature behavior and now taking accountability of how to be mature. They've learned something, and I think you do as well. You know, I think you would lead or take charge in this. So keep your cool, calm, collected, be diplomatic, be empathetic. And yeah, don't forget to show your feelings and emotion. Because that's one of the biggest factors in here is that, oh, Leo still loves me. Leo still likes me. Leo still have a feelings for me. Then I have hope. I just need to really figure out the immature behavior and fix it. And change. Okay? So thanks, Leo. It's been a pleasure doing the reading to you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.